Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to use Python to read a Google Sheet. In this video, we will see how we can use Python's gspread library to be able to read a Google Sheet into Python. So let's quickly get started. I have an untitled spreadsheet here. Let me call this employees. And maybe we can say name and some maybe salaries. Uh, I'm going to say check. 200 Jill okay Jill 300 Hill 400 so I have two columns name and salaries with different names and different salaries let me call this sheet salaries now I've created a Google spreadsheet uh, a lot of people use this across different functions uh, different businesses and uh, what we're trying to do is try and read this in Python right now uh, so there's this Python library called gspread gspread is a Python API for Google Sheets uh, this is the documentation page and the way to install this is to simply pip install gspread which is what we will quickly do now I have already created a Google Sorry, I've already created a Google Sheet. It is what you've seen already. Now let me just try and install this very quickly using Jupyter Notebook. Okay, let me just quickly check with an import statement. Okay, seems like it's working. Okay, so we've finished the installation. Before we go on to the quick example, I mean, this is a very quick way to see if things are working, but I don't want to go there because there are a few more steps that we have to do. And that is basically get the authentication part done. So I'll just open this authentication tab and take you through what is to be done. So there are two kinds of authentication. Uh, if you plan to access spreadsheet on behalf of a bot account, use service account. If you would like to access spreadsheet on behalf of end users, use OAuth client. We are going to do the first one now because we want to be able to read it and work on it programmatically. So how do we do this? We have to first head over to developers uh, console and I'm going to open this in another tab and create a new project. Uh, second in the box labeled search for APIs and services, search for Google Drive API and enable it. Third in the box labeled search for APIs and services, search for Google Sheets API and enable it. Let me create a project. Let me call this employees testing. Or let's call it employees. Okay, let's do call it employees location. No organization create. So it's creating this project employees. Select project. And for this project, let me go ahead and search for Google Drive API. Google Drive API. Okay. I'm going to just enable this and I also need to enable Google Sheets API. I'm going to search for Google Sheets API. Okay. Right. So remember to create a project before you go ahead and enable this. So I am enabling this for the project employees okay so we've now created a project called employees we've enabled Google Drive API and Google Sheets API okay and now this is what we're going to do right for bots we are going to use a service account a service account is a special type of Google account intended to represent a non-human user able to do it programmatically that needs to authenticate and be authorized to access data so here's how we are going to go about this. Enable API access for a project, which we've done already. Go to APIs and services, 
credentials and choose credential service account key so let's go to api and services api and services okay it's here on the left credentials i'm under employees and what do i have to choose to create credentials service account key is there a create credentials here there is a create credentials here service account so okay what next fill out the form click create and done service account name let me just call it employees service account id would be this and yeah just create service account has been created cool grant the service account access to project I'm going to just say done these are optional options where is my yeah so you can see a service account that has been created the email and this is very important the email is employees at employees dash three one five two one five or iam dot service account dot com i'll tell you why this is important in a while but uh, make sure to note this and this is created this is called employees okay so we've clicked create and done press manage service accounts above service accounts just going to click this and press on this hamburger and your recently created service account and select manage keys this is the hamburger i can see manage keys and what should i do next and then click on add key create new key add key create new key json is what you want to create and json key has been created and saved to the, my computer all right so this file has been automatically downloaded remember the path to the downloaded credentials file also in the next step you will need the value of client email from this file and it's going to be the same client email that we've already seen here if i can go back yeah this is the client email okay okay now and this is a very important step go to your spreadsheet and share it with the client email from the above step just like you do with any other google account if you don't do this you will get a g spread exception spreadsheet not found exception when trying to access the spreadsheet from your application or script okay Move the downloaded file to this. This is it. Okay. Now let me go ahead and go to employees. I'm on employees right now. Share it with my ID. Okay. This is me and this let me just give it viewer i don't need to notify this bot account and i've shared okay so this person has been added and this is a very important step otherwise you will run into an error and once you're done uh, this also could be done or we could just give the path and create a new python file with this code so for now let me just copy this code and paste it here i already have this i'm just going to cut this cell i don't need that um here's the name of my spreadsheet here's the name of the records so what i can do is maybe organize this a bit better and say get sheet data and g sheet name and what do we need the tab name i'm going to put this in a function i'm going to call it g spread dot service account and then i'm going to call this g sheet name g sheet name tab name
and what do I want to do? I want to put this here as well. I have GC spread service account, so this should be T sheet name. And we have sh.sheet1.get, but I could also go ahead and get the tab name. Okay, since I did not change the path, I need to do this. Because I did not change the path, I need to do this instead. And from remote downloads and paste. I want to get sheet data and I'm going to pass my sheet name. I can either define it here or I can pass it here. So, okay. What was my G sheet name? My G sheet name was employees. My G sheet name was employees and my tab name was salaries. Salaries. Okay. To get the tab, I'm going to just go ahead and say worksheet is equal to sh.worksheet tab name. I'm going to put that into a data frame. PD dot data frame worksheet dot get all records and I'm going to just return the data frame I'm going to need pandas here and I think I have pandas already so that shouldn't be a problem okay let's see okay here we are. We have name, salaries. I can also assign this to a data frame. So it gets assigned to a data frame and then I can just print out head. And now I can just go ahead and do all the manipulations I want. For instance, sum all the salaries. So yeah, I hope this video was useful. Uh, this is a function that you could use to get your sheet data. You can go ahead and copy this function, get sheet data, just give the G sheet name, tab name. Uh, if you add this extend, uh, if you add this down, if you add this downloaded JSON to your, to this location, where's this location, to this location, to your config slash gspresser service account JSON, uh, you don't have to have add this file name here and you could just go ahead and yeah use your sheet data read it over here and you will be able to manipulate sheet data uh, or rather read in sheet data into python and then do whatever you want to i hope this video was useful in the next video we will try and look into how we could write to the sheet and then again we'll try and combine both of these where we get reading and writing and yeah i hope this is very useful i i know a lot of companies rely on google sheets for many things and uh, often we you would want to programmatically alter certain things in your google sheet and uh, this is a good way of doing that right so using python you're able to read in your google sheet and then do some op complex operations on top of that until the next time, please keep watching. Thank you so much for your support and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.